It is a health care shortage that impacts victims of sexual assault nationwide. Health experts say there is a shortage of sexual assault nurse examiners or SANE nurses. They are responsible for administering rape examinations. Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli is here with details on an important story. Yes, Jim, we have reports of long wait times, some victims even being Ubered to other hospitals. So the investigative team began questioning emergency rooms to see just how widespread the problem is. So I was raped last September. Her life changed forever at an off campus event at a local college. Her pain is still too raw to share her identity. I think I was in shock for a few hours. She ended up here at the Philadelphia Sexual Assault Response Center in Hunting Park, where almost all victims of sexual assault in the city are sent. She says she waited six hours before being seen by a sexual assault nurse examiner known as a sane nurse. No one coming to the waiting room to explain what was happening or why it was taking so long. The only reason I stayed there is because my friends were there with me the whole time. This is called the rape kit. It's designed to be a centralized center for victims. The Philadelphia Police Department's Special Victims Unit is next door. Women's Organized Against Rape is on site for counseling. Dr. Ralph Riviello is one of the founders of the nonprofit. So we basically provide all levels of service uh, that a victim would need. But here's the problem. The center's sane nurses are on call. Hi, do you have a sexual assault nurse examiner on staff? Action News called over 200 emergency rooms and followed up with administrative staff to learn about SANE nurse availability. Okay, so they're not on staff. We created a database and this interactive map of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. We found more than 80% shown here in red and yellow either don't have SANE nurses available at all or only have them on call. You know, having somebody there available uh, can be an expensive proposition if that's all they're there for and you're a lower volume center. But that doesn't apply in Philadelphia, a city with roughly a thousand reported rapes a year. Not one hospital in Philadelphia has a sane nurse on staff 24 7 except for the two children's hospitals, CHOP and St. Christopher's. We found a large desert within the area from Newark, Delaware, to Hershey, to Reading, to Lansdale. Nicole Stallman is with the International Association of Forensic Nurses. Should most hospitals have a sexual assault nurse examiner on staff 24-7? My hope is that, yes, one day there will be. Stallman says Christiana Care in Newark, Delaware, is considered the gold standard for sexual assault treatment. We have Wilmington Police Department, Maryland Police. A glance at the evidence lockers reveal victims from all over the region come to see Sarah Peluso or one of the 17 other forensic nurses on staff 24-7. We have a very supportive organization here at Christiana Care. The shortage of sexual assault nurse examiners is largely twofold. One is money. Many hospitals won't even pay for the same training or time off for it. The other is burnout. The emotional toll is extensive, and for on-call nurses, they have to work odd hours for low pay in addition to their regular jobs. Victims are left with the fallouts. Just felt surreal waiting that long, being treated like I was an inconvenience for sitting there waiting to report being raped. And Illinois recently passed a new law that requires every emergency room to have a sane nurse and treat a patient within 90 minutes. Now, if you want to see our interactive map, you can go to our website, 6abc.com. Do you know of any activity, any uh, interest on a legislative basis in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, or Delaware that might follow the Illinois pattern? None so far, but obviously it's a problem. It's a problem for these victims. All right. All right. Thank you, Chad.